How sublime to look down into the workhouse of nature, to see her clouds, hail, snow, rain, thunder, all fabricated at our feet. To most Americans at the time, Jefferson's experience was a familiar one. The vast majority of the continent was wilderness. No matter where you lived, you didn't have to travel far to find acres of open fields and unspoiled forests. But in the years that followed, cities sprang up along riverbanks and railroad tracks. The nation grew so fast that by 1890, the census director announced that he could no longer identify an American frontier. And yet, in the midst of so much expansion, there were a few individuals who had the foresight to protect our most precious national treasures. It embodies that uniquely American idea that each of us has an equal share in the land around us and an equal responsibility to protect it. So, in my first months of office, I signed a public lands bill that designated two million acres of wilderness, over 1,000 miles of wild and scenic rivers, and three national parks. We've made historic progress to announce new common sense standards to better protect the air we breathe from mercury and other harmful air pollution. And because we acted, we're going to prevent thousands of premature deaths. We established new fuel economy standards that is going to slash oil consumption by about 12 billion barrels, dramatically reduces pollution that contributes to climate change, and saves consumers thousands of dollars at the pump. And just like the fuels we use in our cars, we're going to have to find cleaner, renewable sources of electricity. By 2035, 80% of our electricity needs to come from a wide range of clean energy sources. And if we can have that industry here in the United States of America, that means jobs. The bottom line is this. There will always be people in this country who say we've got to choose between clean air and clean water and a growing economy. Between doing right by our environment and putting people back to work. And I'm here to tell you that is a false choice. With smart, sustainable policies, we can grow our economy today and protect our environment for ourselves and our children. That's our responsibility. The great Rachel Carson once wrote that the real wealth of the nation lies in the resources of the earth. Soil, water, forests, minerals, wildlife, and cannot be a matter of politics.